Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good day trading. A lot of great action. Uh, market played out uh, pretty much like we talked about in the last night's video. Uh, before we get into that, uh, again, for all you guys who are brand new to the channel, thank you very much for your viewership. We really do appreciate it. Uh, kind of like, share, subscribe uh, to get notified when we go uh, and we are uploaded. So hopefully everybody had a good day. So let's talk about the tape. So uh, yesterday, if you watched the video, we talked about um, the majority of mega cap uh, technology names being in the middle of their channels, which basically means uh, they weren't about to break out or at least continuation. They weren't about to break down. They were just kind of in between and not really giving an edge. And sometimes you need a day or so uh, for them to creep back up to the top of the channel or go back to the bottom of the channel. That's obviously going to be uh, a pretty big uh, area for tomorrow after uh, the CPI is released. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but the key was going into today's session was, you know, the the other names, right? We discussed them last night. Uh, the UPST, you know, the UPSTs of the world uh, that went uh, bonkers, uh, the Rokus of the world uh, that went bonkers. Uh, you know, we talked about last night um what else did we talk about last night um can't remember anyway but well it was all last night's video um anyway we'll get to the pivots in a second but the point is this is one of those scenarios that technology is resting um you're getting a lot of pushes with other names uh you're getting a lot of aggressive pushing with other names and that on on face value is super duper bullish now somebody made a great point today and you know i i kind of thought about it for a second and it does make sense and the point was well, Dan, isn't the fact that the market is resting and these mega cap technology leaders are resting uh, and all these other stocks are going higher, doesn't it mean that all the crap, right? Now, again, I don't want to use the word crap, but all the less less significant companies um, in the marketplace, you know, are they leading now because this is like the last hurrah? And the more I thought about it, I was like, well, you know, there is a sense to that that is true. But, you know, we're not talking about, you know, $2 stocks that are going to 20. We're talking about, you know, $40 stocks going to 44. We're talking about $70 stocks are going to 80. So this is a, you know, on the surface right now, it's a very good organic market. Does it, you know, does it kind of makes a, a dent tomorrow if the market doesn't, you know, light the CPI number? Everything is possible. But, but again, that's the whole point. We don't have to guess, right? We, we talk about this uh, every night in nauseam. We kind of remind everybody... Uh, in the live webinar every every day six hours a day i speak literally six hours a day and it's 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 the theory of hey we have a game plan right but there's also the other side of the game plan that if our uh our initial thought process is not playing out there's always the other side of the channel and that's why we always uh talk about being prepared on both sides so let's talk about it right so tomorrow we got the cpi uh coming out at 8 30. obviously it's going to be very aggressive very violent uh, the key now is to uh, appreciate the levels, identify the levels, and if one of those levels start to confirm, then we have uh, our obviously our trend and potential uh, momentum for the day. So let's talk about those levels, right? So to the downside, we talked about yesterday, right? The 63, 40 level, and now that's correlating with the 20-day support. So this is going to be a very, very big number tomorrow uh, in case the market doesn't uh, doesn't like what they what they heard from the CPI number, uh, 6340, 363.40 to the downside. And the bulls, if it's a good number, need to start building above uh, 368.60s to the upside and reclaim the five days. So 368.60s to the upside and to the downside, 363.40s. And if one of those channels confirm, you should get pretty heavy uh, price action in that way. And that's exactly what we're looking for. In case the bulls go on a runaway binge, which is very, very possible, then you're starting to look at the previous, right? The previous uh, channels high on the June 16th high of roughly 372.85. And obviously, if the market starts really tanking, uh, you got the bottom channel here of 357.50. So you have your macro levels, you have your micro levels, and they're both 
uh, very valid for tomorrow's uh, price action. If you pay attention to mega cap technology, and this is kind of what we talked about yesterday, a lot of stocks, not only did they not participate in today's rally, and there was a you know, pretty decent rally today. You had uh, the Dow up today, uh, it sort of was up, up about 300, uh, but you have the Dow up about uh, 300 points today, and you have the NASDAQ up 75. When you look at that, right, you look at that and you say, so, well, everything must have went nuts. Not necessarily, right? Tesla was red predominantly the whole day. It was up 28 cents in the day. Microsoft was red predominantly the whole day. It was only up 60 cents. Uh, Apple, at one point, looked like it was about to fall off a cliff, was red. Uh, Amazon looked like at one point it was in fall off a cliff, you know, up a dollar and change. Okay, that's cool, right? That's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, if you look at Netflix, for example, uh, it was down of the day. AMD looked like it was about to fall off a cliff, was down of the day. AMAT and we had a nice, really, really strong pivot on, on uh, AMAT today. The semiconductors are getting killed. So it's very, very impressive that day two now that you're getting uh, a really good aggressive flows, a speculation money flow, you know, in names like a TTD, in names uh, like coin. Coin's been on a runaway train. They were coming today when the stock was at 85. They were coming today for the 92, 93 weeklies. They were coming for hundreds for next week. You could see the speculation money. Roblox. You guys remember Roblox? I was talking about the stock in nausea. Finally broke out today. Really good move. Uh, my highest sale was at 45. I still have a runner here. Hopefully uh, the stock can wake up. So you saw some really, really aggressive move. Uh, UPST we covered last night on the video. Uh, that one bonkers again today. So you have some really great value. A uh, letter U. Uh, which I'm holding a runner. You know, this thing looks like it's about to attack the top of the range. Some really, really good value, right? Now the question is, what happens with the CPI? The levels that we identify, which side is going to confirm? Again, don't guess. Don't give you an opinion. There's no reason to give an opinion. There's no reason to guess. In, in, uh, at 8.30 Eastern time tomorrow, we're going to know exactly which way uh, the wind is going to blow. And if you are uh, you know, if you are serious about your career, make it tonight, right? Make it your business tonight to be prepared on both sides of the channel. By the time 8.30 comes around, your emotions are all over the place, right? You know, by the time the market opens up, you're, you know, you're you're literally, you know, um, this one's a long, this one's a short. You look at the, the hot stock of the day, but your research tonight is going to put you in a much stronger driver's position to, to really take advantage on both sides of the market, depending on... Uh, on which side it confirms tomorrow. So we have our levels, our micro levels on the queues to up and the downside. We have our macro levels to the queues to the up and the downside. Now we just have to formulate a game plan. That's exactly what I do every single night. And I'm ready on both sides of the market uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session. So let's talk about today's pivots. And then I'll give you guys, uh, I'll give you guys um, some ideas I like for tomorrow. Uh, Square 69.65 meets to build. You know, I don't want to say I screwed up Square. I, I don't think I screwed it up. I bought Square. Uh, it ran up about 40, 50 cents. And then there was an aggressive pull in the market. So I broke even, you know, I made a cup of coffee on the stock, you know, came in a little bit and then exploded after. So I don't know if I want to say I screwed up the trade. I don't think I did. But uh, at the time interval, it got really, really aggressive. Um, oh, whatever. It is what it is. Crowd 151 needs to confirm. Uh, pre-market highs here was crowd uh, it took out the 51 level traded up to 53 nice move on crowd uh roku just went out of its mind completely out of its mind uh, we talked about roku last night's video uh 69 needs to confirm pre-market highs and roku just 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 went nuts roku went all the way to 77 just a huge huge move on roku uh ddd didn't do a lot uh 1060 needs to build i think went up a dime Literally a dime. Um, yeah, I went up a dime. You know, nothing, nothing big there. Uh, Path, nice move on Path. Again, one of those AI stocks I covered two, three videos ago. 1745 needs to build. Uh, Path went to 18. Not a lot of option flow, uh, but Path went to 18. Needs to reclaim 18 for higher prices. But you know, nice move. 50 cent move on um, a 50 cent move on a 50, uh, on a 17 dollar stock is pretty good. Uh, UPST went nuts after the fact. Uh, again, big breakout yesterday, confirmed today, paused, jukey pooky a little bit, and then the stock went all the way up to 44 and a half. Just a big move there. Uh, Meta. All right, so here's, I, I messed up Meta, okay? I don't think I messed up Meta. Um, so I, we got long Meta. Uh, we got long Meta. The stock exploded. 
went up to, uh, you know, took out 300. And usually I always make sales. For some reason, I, we, we, we just didn't make any sales. So we went up from up $1.70 on Meta, you know, because I really thought it was going to explode. We saw some 330 calls come in, wound up losing $1.50 on Meta. It is what it is. It's just one of those situations that, um, you know, one of those situations that, you know, it's very easy to say on the hindsight, well, we should have sold some, but you should see how it was trading. It was very aggressive. The option flow was coming in. So I, I thought it was going to get a bigger move, and it didn't, so unfortunate. Uh, this was a nice short. Uh, 138.75, it builds below, can flush on AMAT. AMAT got uh, got hit. Uh, my lowest cover was 37. Unfortunately, it went all the way down to 34, but, you know, it is what it is. But a beautiful move. Not not a bad move at all on AMAT. Uh, Roblox was great. Absolutely great. Uh 43, finally, again, if, you, if you've if you gotten the last two, three weeks videos, we've been talking about this macro break on Roblox for a long time. Finally broke. Uh, my highest sale was 45 on this 43 break. Uh, I'm still holding a runner. Let's see what happens tomorrow on, um, you know, on um, on the CPI number. And again, this is, you know, this is the, you know, this is the whole point. Uh, 297 max pain. This is why I keep on reiterating nonstop. Keep taking money along the way. Use break even as I stop. Today is one of those sessions that do as I say, not as I do. I should take some money off. But again, uh, sometimes you get a little bit greedy and you see the bigger picture and just doesn't want to play that way. Um, and that's it. And that's it. And the one thing you, I I didn't put on the Twitter feed, but all you guys uh, were in the webinar. Some of you guys are still long. Uh, I got long uh, letter U on opening range highs. Uh, here's the opening range highs here. Uh, 42.30s. Traded all the way up to 44. I saw a little, tiny, tiny little piece overnight. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, let me give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow, right? Let me give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow's session. Again, I don't know which way the CPI is going to blow, uh, but like I said, we have to be uh, prepared on both sides of the market. So uh, let me give you guys some ideas. Uh, TTD, I really like uh, either you know on a dip into rising 60-minute support or a continuation of today's breakout. Uh, letter U, again, I have a little bit of a runner, but I'm looking to add this thing above uh, above the June highs. If this thing could just get above the June highs, maybe we could get a really, really strong move there. Uh, I like Marvel. You know, Marvel, you know, has done nothing, has done absolutely nothing since it's really good earnings. Uh, it finally got above the range today. I, I want to watch this thing tomorrow into opening range highs. If Marvel could finally get above the opening range highs, assuming uh, the CPI data is good, maybe it could finally scratch. They did come up for some... Uh, $65, uh, $65 uh, call, so we'll see there. On the short side, just in case the market is weak, look at AMD below the 50-day. If a you know, AMD held the 50-day twice, if AMD loses the 50-day, it could get hit. Uh, look at Apple, right? Again, it's the same thing, which is tech stocks are just not rallying. Again, we have to be prepared. Uh, if Apple loses the 20-day tomorrow, I'm interested to the downside. Again, if, 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 we don't know. Again, be prepared. Um, so I like that as well. Tesla, again, did not really participate in today's rally. We had a great, great short on it yesterday. I, you know, I'm watching the 10-day tomorrow. You know, if, if the market is bad and the CPI starts selling off, who knows? What if Tesla loses the 10-day tomorrow? Lost the 5 and got uh, all the way to the 10. If it loses the 10, maybe it gets to the 20. Again, again, be prepared. That is the message uh, for today. That's the message for always. Be prepared on both sides. Nobody has a crystal ball. Nobody's smart enough to guess. We're all trying to get as much data as possible and make sure that the data is being confirmed by technical analysis, not our opinion. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Tomorrow is CPI. Good luck to trading, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow night's video. Take care.